Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. So here I've deposited the money from my credit card, went into PayPal, increased my PayPal balance. I then spent the money out of PayPal and it went to my expense. So that's this one. So hopefully you're feeling pretty good. I want you to feel good because the next part, I want you to have an aha moment, not a what happened there. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that happens is we've deposited 4962 into the PayPal account. This money came from the credit card. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go transfer. And we're gonna say Alaska Airlines into PayPal USD. I have so many PayPal accounts, it's just faster to type USD and then find it that way. So then my transfer amount is 49.62. Now again, I'm not writing in Y. Doesn't matter, I like to think of this as one step at a time. And this one particular step is that I transferred money. Now the why I transferred money doesn't matter. The why comes later when I spend the money. So just keep it real simple. I've deposited money into my PayPal account. So I can see 49.62, I can see it's in the deposit column. So 49.62, deposit. And I'm just highlighting them so that I can keep track of where I left off. In a perfect world, I will be able to keep track, but in the real world, we know distractions happen. So the, the next thing that happens is currency conversion. And so currency conversion, it says that it happens on 8.30. I'm gonna come down here into my transaction history CAD, and I only have one currency conversion on 8.30. What I like about that, or what I'm happy with myself about, is that I know that this, this currency conversion, this 49.62, it converts to 59.88. If I had two currency conversions on the same day, I would have to try to figure out which one was which so that I could keep everything organized in my books. Okay, so I know that I start with 49.62 USD and I end up with 59.88 CAD. Oh goodness. Well, this is time for our calculator. So we're going to go 49.62 divided by 59.88. I'm going to have to write this down to make sure I get it so I don't mess myself up. So I'm going to write down eight, 0 0.82865. I think that's plenty of digits. Okay, so let's, let's do this. We're going to go plus new. We're going to go to transfer. We're going to say the money comes from USD PayPal. And the money goes into CAD PayPal. The currency we want is Canadian dollar. And then a moment ago, I just did the math. So what I'm not doing is I'm not relying on the currency conversion provided by QuickBooks. I'm grateful that it's there, but I need my numbers to match up what actually happened on my bank statement. So this is what I've got. And then the transfer amount so for the transfer amount, what I'm gonna enter is the amount of money in my destination currency. So what I'm saying is that I'm going to end up with currency of CAD. The CAD up here is just what I typed on my chart of accounts. So I'm, I'm telling QuickBooks, you know what? I need to convert this money into CAD. When I get done, I need to have this many dollars in CAD. So I'm gonna choose save and close. So now when I look at my USD PayPal, over here, I can see I have a payment of 49.62. So that's good, that's what I've got here. Now I'm gonna change this register and I'm gonna go to my CAD PayPal. In my CAD PayPal, I have a deposit of 59.88. And that's perfect because that's exactly what I have here. I'm gonna open this up just so you can see it. The home currency, my QuickBooks is set up with a home currency of USD. The exchange rate, this is not the default exchange rate. This is what we got by using the calculator. And then the deposit, parentheses, CAD. All right, the last step in our journey is to pay for our flowers. 
So let's go here. And then weekly. Ooh. So Weekly Flowers is our vendor, and the currency we're going to use when we pay Weekly Flowers is CAD. So I've just changed this from the default of USD over to CAD. I'm then going to select Save. Over to the right, it says Payment Account. Well, I paid them out of the, the PayPal CAD account. This conversion here doesn't matter because I'm paying them out of the PayPal CAD account. So down here, down here. Let's go Gift, Office. Okay, we're going to call it office supplies. Uh, 59.88. Save and close. Perfect. So now when I look at my PayPal account, I can see that I paid them 59.88. It is telling me the USD or the, the home currency amount. It's doing that so that when it generates my profit and loss, it can generate it based on my home currency, in this case, USD. So I don't want you to worry about the fact that the home currency is different from the currency that you transferred over. That's just how currency fluctuation works. I'm not going to recreate everything that I just did, but I do want to show you what it would look like if you wanted to import your CSV to take care of all this and not do it by hand. So this is the CSV that I exported from PayPal. What I have is I've got all of it, right? Like my CAD and my USD, it's all combined into one CSV file. I know that it's combined into one because when I look at column E, I can see USD and CAD. What I would recommend is if you wanted to import this into your QuickBooks, do a file save as and make two files. Label one the USD file and label the other the CAD file. Then for the USD file, just come over here and highlight and delete the CAD transactions. For the CAD file, come over here, highlight and delete the USD transactions. You'll then be able to upload the file into QuickBooks Online. If you're not sure how to upload a CSV file into QuickBooks Online, please review my other videos. I definitely have a video showing you how to do this. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you understand just a little bit more about PayPal transfers and possibly multi-currency. If you have any questions or if I can help in any way, please don't hesitate to let me know. If there's other topics you'd like to see me cover, please go ahead and leave those in the comments and I'll certainly add them to my list. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.